I feel like the shit we've been talking about since the 2016 election, it's like everything that we have prophesied is coming true. Like we're, we're living through our own, our own visions yes. of things to come. And now they are coming and they are happening. And that is, and by that, again, I mean all of our friends crawling out of the woodwork to do the same shit they tried to do in 2016 <laughs> yep. to Bernie Sanders, but again, this time in an even dumber and less effective way. And I'm talking about, let's, let's, let's begin with Hillary Clinton popping up out of nowhere in an interview with the Hollywood reporter to pump up her fucking Hulu documentary about her life and career to her say that struggle you might call her, it. <laughs> <laughs> to remind everyone that uh, nobody likes Bernie Sanders and uh, what he did to her is what he's doing to all women and that there's a pattern with his behavior that is unmistakably sexist but I just like to begin with the idea that Hillary Clinton is coming out to tell, tell everyone that nobody likes Bernie Sanders and this is an even more cretinous gaffe. Again, if you oppose Bernie Sanders, then her, you know, accurate but uh, huge sh sh shot in the foot moment of calling Trump supporters deplorables. Yeah, she can't stop it. Her 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 venom sack is always just filled to bursting, and she has to vent it or else she will explode. It is cool knowing she's just like fucking completely unhappy. Yeah, oh, no, she's, she's completely miserable. bitter. Like in in like the last portion of her life, just fucking wander well tumbling around the earth just fuck it just fucking pointless just waking up angry no matter what no matter how much fucking money she has no matter what just fucking pissed off so it's just here this is the washington post here hillary clinton points to alleged sexism in bernie sanders campaign it's part of a pattern so hillary saw liz warren try this and just whiff entirely yeah. and she's like you know what as we said, Liz doesn't have the heart to stick the knife in. I'm going to do it. Speaking of which, there is a theory I've heard from multiple people in media, uh, so I, more than one, so that's the Watergate rule. I'm going with it. Is that there is a theory that sh Hillary Clinton is the person who actually leaked the whole Sanders Warren uh, quote thing? Really? Yes. Because there's people on the Karen Warren who are close to Warren who also are close to Hillary, and the theory is that she heard about it, and then she's the one who dropped the dime to CNN, and it's like, that would be uh, artistically perfect if it were the case. So uh, Washington Post here, Hillary Clinton says in a new interview that she will do anything I can do, I can to defeat President Trump in 2020. But in the same interview, she savages Bernie Sanders and declines to do say, anything, <laughs> but not uh, any action. And declines thing. to say she w uh, she would endorse or campaign for him if he is a Democratic nominee. I fucking well, hope she won't yeah, campaign no, for holy him. Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank fucking god. <laughs> And perhaps most notably, she repeatedly alludes to allegations of sexism against Sanders' campaign, linking it to the candidate himself. The interview with The Hollywood Reporter tears open still mending wounds from the protracted 2016 primary that pitted Clinton against the independent senator from Vermont. She goes, uh, the interview can see coincides with a new documentary called Hillary, which is debuting at the Sundance Film Festival. She says here, he was in Congress for years. He had he had one senator support him, Clinton said. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. It's all just baloney. Not like me. It's all just baloney. And I feel <laughs> so bad that people got sucked into it. He goes, uh, I'm not going to go there yet. This is Clinton's full quote. I'm not going to go there yet. We're still in a very vigorous primary season. I will say, however, that it's not only him. It's the culture around him. It's his leadership team. It's his prominent supporters. It's his online Bernie bros and their relentless attacks on lots ah, of the bros. <laughs> and it's his, their relentless attacks on lots of his competitors, particularly the women. And I really hope people are paying attention to that because it should be worrisome that he has permitted this culture. Not only permitted, he seems to be very much supporting it. And I don't think we want to go down that road again where you campaign by insult and attack. And maybe you try to get some distance from it, but either you don't know what your campaign and supporters are doing or you're just giving them a wink and you want them to go after Kamala Harris or after Elizabeth Warren. I think that's a pattern that people should take into account when they make their decisions. A pattern. Okay, a, a pattern. pattern in a culture. Okay, huh? a, pattern, a pattern in a culture of high-profile supporters uh, just uh, looking the <laughs> other way about their uh, culture of, uh, uh, you know... Uh, abuse, you abuse could say. Abuse, yeah, yeah. you could say, of women uh, in particular. Or girls. Yeah, um, this, that, that fucking, that graph there is so good because she said it at the exact time that Harvey Weinstein's trial is kicking <laughs> off in New York. And in the same interview, when asked about Harvey Weinstein, she said, 
How how is any how would anyone have known about how this? How could I know? And there is also, nothing about it. <laughs> nothing. It's it wasn't yeah. one of the biggest open secrets in Hollywood. She says how he, and then her genius political instincts. It just shows what a real killer she is. She says in the next line, "He raised a lot of money for us. He raised a lot of effort, money for everyone, including the Obamas." <laughs> <laughs> She's it, like she Hillary. ties she ties herself. And the Obamas yep. as close to this fucking rape monster <laughs> as is humanly possible before saying, well, we didn't know. We just like to take his money. Hillary is team player always. When she's drowning, she's going to try to pull you down. Oh, yeah. You. Oh, yeah. She's, holy shit. I'm just imagining her at Zorro Ranch going through the Internet going like, these, look at these Bernie bros. They keep calling me uh, a bitch. I'm, I'm writing all these names down and I'm demanding that Bernie personally uh, condemn them. And meanwhile, behind her, like Jeffrey Epstein has got a, like a bib on and a fucking <laughs> old, like got a carving knife. And he's got a kid with a fucking apple in his mouth in front of him. Hillary Clinton was uh, was yeah, was tweeting that uh, from from the Zora Ranch. Kicking up her feet on a child f- child furniture. <laughs> yeah. One of Jeffrey Epstein's clones went up to her and was like, "Yo, dope interview." <laughs> so I mean, it's just it is so fucking rich to hear this coming from Hillary Clinton, who, let's be honest, has had a lifelong association with Bill Clinton. Yeah, sex, serial sex criminal Bill and, Clinton, and, and also this idea that like you know you can't just campaign by insult and attack. We talked about this so many times before, but the 2008 primary was one of the most like everyone who thinks that this current Democratic primary is vicious. This is such kid gloves, oh, yeah. high minded, oh God, focused yeah. on the issues type of shit. 2008, there were like uh, uh, Obama worships Muslimic moon god. Yeah. Yes. Hillary ran the campaign. They accused Bernie of running in 2016 yes. to the highest degree. I've and ever she's seen talking about how like Bernie needs to be responsible for what his fucking followers on his fu- people who say they like him on Twitter. Like you, literally, they're anonymous. It's a, it's a picture of Goatsy in the Avatar. Meanwhile, Sidney Blumenthal was the guy who started birtherism. I'm pretty sure she knows his name and has his email. No, yeah. Every, do you remember when Hillary, like, when she wouldn't stop running after it was mathematically yes. impossible? She's like, well, what if someone uh, kills him? <laughs> she says she used RFK. The yeah, RFK. Yeah, yeah. Like, what yeah. if he gets, what if someone What if he's him? walking through the kitchen she, of the Ambassador Hotel? What if someone cheating. answers my Craigslist ad? <laughs> <laughs> she was just wandering around Pennsylvania in a Carhartt jacket, vomiting into the pocket, <laughs> 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 and just being like, I'm not black. Like, it was awful. It was a fucking awful, hateful primary. Okay, there's a whole. This is like Bernie Bros 2.0 are, is happening right now because for a year now, I've been hearing from uh, like, like Democrat brain people that like as soon as Bernie really gets vetted, oh, yeah. then like he is done for. There is oh, shit yeah. out there that you, the real raw shit that you people wouldn't fucking believe. And lo and behold, it's all stuff that we heard about in 2016 and no one gave a shit about. That like they're 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 shaking the vial and slamming it against the table so many times to try to just get the last few fucking just like little grains out of that fucking thing. Uh, it's not working, so they're gonna do this again. And some of the people that they're auditioning to do this Bernie Bro shit is so fucking perfect.